Thanks for joining us. Elation on the West Coast today with a $12 million joint state and federal government rescue package for the Wilderness Railway. An operator is still needed to ensure the tourist icon's future, but stakeholders are confident new funding goes beyond a band-aid solution. This is the story of the little engine that could, all but derailed by seasons of sorry returns. Today, full carriages ahead of a looming, would-be last stop on April 30. We came into the station, they told us to wait and walk down because there was some announcement, but they didn't know whether it was good news or bad news. I'm very pleased to announce that the federal government will fund up to $6 million to keep this rail back on track. Local shops depend on the tourist draw. They've spent weeks unsure of their future livelihood. It, it would be losing the heart and soul of the, of the town, of the West Coast. It's such an iconic um, thing to have here. We're so proud of it. Hundreds stormed the station when news broke they could lose their beloved railway. Crisis talks the catalyst for the federal rescue package. The train still needs an operator in short order. If we lose key people from the railway, accreditation ceases and the railway could stop tomorrow. The federal government says $6 million is enough to upgrade infrastructure, but it's just one piece of the puzzle. They're looking now to the state government for strong leadership in forming an operational model that will be viable for at least four years. Uh, certainly the modelling for, for a new look wilderness railway will encompass just about everything that, that is able to affect it, uh, not the least um, visitor numbers. There is work to be done to ensure this engine keeps chugging along. In the meantime, these tourists are sharing first-hand good news on the next stage of their journey. Camille Bianchi, Southern Cross News.